Alright, so I basically just recorded something that I didn't have audio to. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, so what I would basically said was we're going to go ahead and get back to No Man's Sky. Well, that's the first thing, obviously, but um, I wanted to go back to that mine that we set up. I noticed that the power is not running all the way through the night, uh, so we'll probably want to fix that up as well. But uh, one of the things that we did notice uh, was when we were actually coming to the this like spawning here, the um, the base wasn't really generating like a place where we could actually stand on. So I, so I wanted to see if I can't fix fix that kind of. So we'll see what we can come up with for fixing all this, but. Uh, it's a little bit harder than normal because of all these little parts here, so I'll probably remove some of these just for the time being. And then we can kind of try to get them. We're under the base, so we should be able to um, stay safe from the environment. But let's see if we can't just put that like that, maybe. No, these are the wood ones. Maybe we should change that to the stone ones. Let's see if we can't place some stone in here instead. Because I want to get to the lower level. And it's a little bit picky to where the uh, parts are because of how it's generating, but I'm not sure what's under there. Let's go ahead and switch our tool to. Actually, where is our tool? Oh, we might not have our tool on enabled. Let's quickly switch that over. Yeah, that's the one that we have. All right, so here we go. There might be some blocks under here that I didn't grab. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, we'll clean that up. And then we'll fill it in with um, the thing. Not sure where they all are. Yeah, there's a few there. I'm sure I misplaced some of them. Let's see if we can't clean some of this up. Yeah, there's another one there. Okay, that one. I'll just clean up this stuff. Another one right there. Okay, so now that we got that...
I located a drop pod, so we'll go check this out quickly and see if we can't get some stuff from that. Uh, there is a rare creature that we still need to find on this uh, planet. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find it in the cave here. Let's see if we can't go in here first and... Oh, is that it? No. Let's see if we can't get it to generate. I'm not sure if it will. It is rare. But we'll see if we can't uh, find it. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure there's a creature that we still need, have to find on this planet. Yeah, eight and nine. So it is. Have we found any? Un yeah, we found one underground, one... So, chances of us actually finding this one is pretty rare. But I thought I would still give it a shot. Never know when you might find it, right? So. Let's see, we got a couple of those guys over there. Kind of goes around, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll go this way. This is actually a pretty big cave. Oh, there it is, right down there. Where is it? Right, right there. There we go. Okay. So we can claim that 2,000 and upload all those. Okay, now we have to make our way back that direction. Might as well scan some of this stuff as well. It's not like we're any in any huge hurry. There's a storm right now, so.
so I made it to a new planet and we're currently going to buy out some of the stuff. See if we can't get it all. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, we actually have that. I'm gonna turn that into something we can sell. Um, and then we can put this stuff over, I guess, on our ship. That, that stuff is pretty fine to actually keep on our ship. It's the um, other stuff, but let's put these on our freighter. Put that there. We actually have quite a bit of a collection set up for that stuff, so we'll be able to sell that pretty soon. Okay, so there's all those, and we got that. Got navigation data, just in case we need to spawn our ship. And then this guy sells technology, so we should be able to actually sell that here. Uh, we'll purchase blueprints. Maybe not purchase blueprints. Maybe we can't sell it here. Yeah, it won't let us sell that here. Okay, so let's try purchase components, sell, and it won't actually let us sell it that here. So that's fine. Uh, that we don't actually need. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what they have for other items on here. We have some metal plates. Purchase that, I guess. Can always use metal plates. We can also use all of those that we can get. Hermit seals are pretty good on. Oh, that should be good. Okay, so let's put the uh, metal plates over on our freighter. Actually, some of this could be moved over to our ship, I think. I like to try to keep 20 on there, just in case a uh, shuttle needs to be repaired or anything like that. And we actually, like one of the things that sometimes they need is the uh, circuits or the metal plates. So having some on board can actually be beneficial. So we have quite a bit of resources now for that. Uh, we can smelt those up to get the dihydrogen, which we're running a little bit short on. So I'm glad I purchased that. And for this, I'm just going to throw that into our uh, freighter. Just put that there for now. Uh, when we get to the station, we'll be able to do something. All right, so that's not an animal. That is. I'm not sure how many animals are on this planet either.
guys. So we got all of the creatures on this planet, so we can get that nanites, those wonderful nanites that we will all want so we got that and then we're gonna just quickly upload I did find another uh, museum thing that we can put in our museum there was one cave creature you can kind of see it down there I ended up finding one in the cave so uh, basically I scanned that but <laughs> when I came out there was already one out here I'm like oh okay I could have just scanned that one but I guess because this actually spawned technically below the train that's probably why it counts as a cave because you can kind of see the difference in the uh, color of the floor of it so I'm thinking almost that uh, things like that the terrain will actually change color or not so much change color but the, the environment will be a little bit different so that's probably why they spawn on the outside sometimes too because it's technically cave floor and not just the default terrain which you can kind of see the purple terrain around us so is more of the outdoor terrain so outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out